Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. So as you can see I've got some hard out in my hand because no cobalt because I was back to the other because having to be re remaking all my tools I ran out of cobalt I had none left. So I went and did a bit of a bit of exploring. Actually I found a, a Magnusam island and got some, some some samples. That's a look I'm talking about because I've forgotten already. I've got a mag <laughs> Which one is it? I've forgotten. Let's put this into here anyway, so I don't need to carry that with me. A magna slime sapling, so hopefully that'll grow. I'll, I'll put it on some dirt, some magna slime dirt. It was, it's a bit exciting travelling in the nether, I've got to be honest with you, it's a bit stressy. <laughs> so let's have a look. What have I got to do? I would like to get my pick. Where's my thing gone to? Here it is. I'm not going to do the order I've got here, but we'll have a look at this. Lever on a tank. Let's go and have a look at that first. Do you know, I, as soon as I'd finished recording the last episode, I thought, oh, why not do that? To extract fluid out of the tank. Now, all you have to do is you put a lever on it, and then you can flip the lever, and you'll get it going again. Of course, I've turned off the mod farm again. So put, it doesn't matter where you put the lever, just as long as you do that. And you can see this tank's now. Can you tell me what I've got in here. No, it's one of these that doesn't show me. You can see it. I think you can see it going up. Yeah. You can see it going up. And in here we've got... Well, it's going down now. Because, of course, we've got 16 buckets worth in there. Yeah, that's now empty and this is still full. So we can leave that on. It'll fill up this tank eventually. Oh, it's loud in there. So let's have a look at that. So that was that one. Temperature regulator. Oh well, that's working. That's working just fine. It was just me being. I don't know. It was confusing me because I was expecting the power to go down much faster than it is. But in here, we get a lot of like as soon as you come in here. You can see this says 1.6 million RF, and I, and I took the power off it, and it still said 1.6 million RF. I was going, that's strange. Why am I not seeing any power? And Basically, it just doesn't go down so fast because there's quite a lot of distance between 1.6 and 1.5. And you can't see it in RF, you can see, only see it in millions. So it was, it was working just fine. But it does cause lag. That's something I've got to watch out for. And the other thing that causes lag is actually the bees. I went and got some bees here. Well, they're actually not working at the moment because they've got the princesses been uh, generated and put that back into there and put these into there they'll all go in there and take the comb out and when these actually start to no flowers when these start to work you actually get quite a significant amount of light but it only lasts a short time so i would like to actually go and use i didn't show how to do that last time so let's go and see if i can find what i want i think it's in the backpack no it's not i know it is. it's in that chest beside the bees Yeah, they don't sting you when you're actually when they're in in a bee house. So we take this one and we take uh, a scoop. We've got some bees around, so I'm going to go and get those, and I'm going to put those into another bee house. And we're going to do a bit more bee stuff today. Actually, I did make a mistake, another mistake last time, because uh, I hadn't didn't realise we've not got extra bees in this pack. So the the ones we've got are only the ones from uh, forestry, and they don't really go. The best you can get sort of cocoa beans, so you can't get diamonds or anything like that out of here. But I know there's a beehive over here, so let's just get this in our hand. And I'm walking past it all the time, going, I don't want to, could have walked past this fast, and there's a couple actually. So when we get near to this, if we don't get killed, we can press shift, and I think it starts to make that noise. And if you look carefully, the bees will actually start going back into the hive. So as soon as you've gone back into the hive, you can then break it, and you don't get stung so much as you can see oh that's interesting what have we got in there a valiant princess and a meadow drone oh that's an interesting pair now there's another hive over here somewhere i've seen another hive i don't expect to see valiants as it happens but let's have another go where is the other beehive there's two in this on this island i think if i can't find it i'll do it another time I would like to get a, actually I would like to get a forest, uh, a meadows princess if it's possible, but no, I don't see it. Never mind. 
So that's what you do with this thing. Right, I'm sure it's over here. Let's go over here. I know there's a second one. And it's much better to put these into a bee house or something to, so you don't get stung all the time. Can I get up here? Yes. Now, where is it? And they will actually get. Oh, there we are. Look. So we come here. You can see the bees all returning to the house now. Like that. And as soon as they go, now it makes that noise. And that means it's done. So we can then break the house. This time we did get a prince. Meadows Princess pristine stock. Oh, now that is a good one. So let's go back and put those into some bee house houses. Just trying to figure the best way back as it happens because I'm up quite high. And I need to be over here a bit more. This, this village is, uh, shall we say, challenging to get around. <laughs> here we go. And the reason I put these trees up here is because. They will actually get, um, when I analyse them, they'll become forestry trees. Let's just remove this flower. I do need the flowers, it happens, because of the bees. But I don't think I need two, and it should make, they should make more flowers. So anyway, let's put down a bee house. What we're going to do today is we're going to make an apiary. And then we'll be able to automate this. So let's put this, I don't think it matters if I put it beside that one. No, it doesn't. So we can put the pristine princess in here. And these two drones will be identical because they stack, which is good. So that we can put this one down here. Hopefully everything's okay. And we'll start to get our meadows, which will be red ones, of course. So we'll look. It says normal power, no power required. Oh, yeah, and it's working. So we should see, yes, there we got the red bees coming out of there. So the blue ones are, or the cyan ones are. Uh, forestry and the red ones, oh, put them in different directions because of the lids, look at that. And never mind. So that's that. Now the next thing I would like to do is to make a uh, apiary. So let's do that. We've got plenty of wood. Let's take six pieces of, uh, six logs. It's six logs and some seeds that you need for this. And what you do is you put them in here like this, in this pattern, with some seed oil. You'll use 250 seed oil. Um, is it complaining about what's wrong here? Needs resources only because I need eight, not six. Tell you what, I'll go and get the others and have a sleep at the same time. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Oh, I've got the other two. Let's just put those into there. And then it should say it should start to work. You see the recipes in here going up. In fact, I've already made one, an impregnated casing. And the, the uses of this is to make the apri. And the apron is the one you can automate it. So we need some slabs and we need some planks. Doesn't matter what we use, it'll all turn out the same. So we've got two impregnated casings now and we've used 250 millilitres of seed oil, half a bucket. And it's always a good idea to make those, keep those separate because the carpenters aren't that expensive. So once you make, got to the stage of being able to make one, you should be able to make two easily. Now I wanted some wood, didn't I? How much do we need? So we need that'll give me three, four, five. I think take seven pieces, make some planks. I've already got enough, and then we just need to make some slabs. So we need six slabs, which is like that. Oh yeah, plenty now. Oh, they actually went into that. So let's make these two up. We can make two apres, and then we can go and replace those bee houses with apres. I'll do that later. Now I'll put them down to start with, and then we can have a look at those. I'll put them down with the others that are just sitting here. I'm just wondering where to put them. Let's put them here because I'm going to need space behind them anyway. And I'm not sure if I can automate it. I'm going to try. What I'm going to automate it with, if you right click this now, you see you've got three slots down here. So the only difference between that these two, this, these three slots, and the, in those you can put um, some frames. You see this one's got just the the hexagonal um, pattern with seven holes in it. And this one's got both plus the three slots for the frames. And the frames basically increase the production of whatever you're trying to produce. So I'm going to put the other one down, I'll we'll put it down here, and I'll put some wood dirt down here first of all. 
and we can put that on top of that like that and leave that to be to do it's whatever it's going to do so these are going to we're going to wait for these to actually finish ah oh, yes you see you get the, the lippy bit on this side so they're going they don't go down fairly reasonably quickly and this one's actually probably about the same so in here I might have the analyzer oh no the analyzer is in this chest once I get the analyzer out of here and then right click this chest you then see this is a enabled which means you can analyze the bees I don't want to do that yet because they're all the same the ones that I would be interested in were these two because they aren't stacking they I would expect those two drones to stack with these two so we can actually analyze these two bees let's have a look at that so they, I think they've got some common traits so here we go yes this is a this is a cross between a wintry bee and a modest bee so it tells you what it flower type snow <laughs> flower type cactus so they're completely different I don't know how and this gives you a freezing effect which is probably bad the good things on here the, the ones which are blue are re recessive genes and the inactive ones are the ones that you can do so the red ones are the, are the active or dominant genes and the blue ones are recessive so it's basically it's got snow is a dominant and cactus is a recessive property and it should also tell us a little bit about these if we go to the second one down we have to move the bee don't we it tells us about the ability so this one likes hot and arid and it can go up and down one so it can be less than hot this one likes icy and one above it and humidity tolerance is normal and then it says it's basically this will work in the day and the night uh, no sorry in the day and the night yes it's going to work in both and tolerant flyer basically will fly in the rain and caved other one basically well, means it can't it can fly when this it's got something over its head so you see at the moment there's nothing over the top of these things there might be something over here actually no there's nothing if these leaves are over here they wouldn't work so we've got to be careful with that so that's what that so that's what that bee is so that one's now analyzed let's get it out of the analyzer and we go down you've got different properties different things down here possible uh specialities none impossible cleanse you know frozen chem and parched chem quite i don't know how they got this one and then it's got possible mutations in here okay and then the other bee is this one let's put this one in for analyzing and go to the top Oh, I've got no more honey. I have to put some honey into this. I've got some honey in here. Yes, I've got plenty of honey in here. Let's take half of these honeys and then put that into the top here. And you can see. So when I bring it down there, it tells me. That, was it not being. Ah, okay, I'll put it back in there. So this is a, a modest and a wintry, exactly the opposite of the other one. So it's an interesting cross that he got there. Same thing as a drone. So you've got all sorts of. Uh, things that can actually happen from this so there we are which we don't know about yet then we'll find those out so a valiant print says pristine stock sometime we will get a valiant drone which is what i'm going to keep the valiant princess for and let's see how we get on i'll put that comb back there we don't need that um the other thing that was interesting was this one wasn't it the uses of this column it basically gives you potion of regeneration if you do that with awkward potion and then you can use this one for later on so you can put that into brimstone make splash potion make long potion or make uh, two regeneration two for 22 seconds both are actually quite well worth doing I think we can also use these in, in the analyzer so let's just take yeah we can actually do all three of these let's do all three together it doesn't make any difference I don't think can I put that into the... oh I can't, we can't do it while the bee's in there, let's remove the bee. I'll shift click that into there. Now I can't analyse pollen, it's only saplings I can analyse. Okay, let's put those two back in there. Good. So that's it for bees for today, I think. I won't do any more bee stuff until we've got some progress. I've got a few drones, I need a few drones, a stack or so would actually help. I should have put that in there as well, put it in here instead. Uh, I'll probably forget where it is. Tell you what, I'll be organised and put it in the other place, but I'll do that in my own time.
So next thing on the list, let's get this out here. So we've looked at the temperature regulator. We've looked at B autom well, we basically used the smoker and then done the B house and done the B automation. So the next thing I'd like to look at is the Bibliocraft press and type setting tables. And there's also a framing table I came across by chance. So let's have a look at the Bibliocraft press first of all. Type setting and press. I've got the recipes here I think already selected in my thing so we should be able to see these. So the type setting table is made from one redstone, planks and slabs, iron and a printing press chase. We're going to need a few of these so let's make about a dozen of these. That was with slabs wasn't it? There's also a saw you can make which basically saves you a bit of wood but I'm not going to bother about saving wood because I've got plenty of wood and it's dead easy to get plenty of wood as well. That spruce, did I get any more planks worth me five of those? Hey, I've got 25 spruce wood planks from there so let's just get uh, ooh, let's do about five, let's do eight. Probably not enough actually but then we don't, no matter. didn't work for me for some reason because I've only got one. Let's get that out of there and then let's make some more slabs. That'll give me 12 slabs. Let's use that one again. So we've got four. It's not quite as many as I wanted, but I think it'll do for the time. I didn't put this one. I've, got, I've got the iron already in here. Anyway, I didn't need to do that. We could make a saw. This will we'll do this anyway, because it's a, a framing saw from Bibliocraft. Because we can then use that to make these things here. So we basically take a slab, one plank will give us two. So it will actually give you four of these per plank, compared to six for three planks of the other. Or three, yeah, that's right, isn't it? So three slabs will, three pieces will give you six slabs. So if I take these with the saw three pieces, cut those up, I expect you to take durability, we'll get six of these with no durability and then we can do that again we get 12 so that's probably a bit better in terms of cost isn't it so have you got like that, that? You, I think it's interchangeable it is look we can do it like that and then we've got some more printing plus chases right okay let's go back to this thing missing redstone and the types pressing printing presses blocks of iron which is probably going to miss and a weighted pressure plate blaze rods I ain't got a shortage of as you can see we got 45 I, that was another for a while so for iron we need a few stacks of this let's take a stack of iron and make we needed four didn't we three so let's take one of those and do the recipe on that one. Just click it in. Three. Then we want some pressure plates. One of those. Is that enough there? So we should be able to make the printing press now. Click that in. And the other thing while I'm here, well, I might as well do it, is to make the framing table. So the framing table is made from birch any of the trims. So how do we make the trims? Let's have a look. Basically sticks, sticks and planks. So we should be able to do some sticks and planks. I'll tell you what, I'll come back in a second when I've slept. Ah, sapling's already grown. So right, let's do this bit. So sticks and planks. Got plenty of planks there. The sticks will just take a stack of six and we'll see what we can do for this one. So we want to go to the trim what's that one? Oh, that's the apri but from rustic okay fine so we need to make this one we've got no planks but i expect any planks will do so let's just take where are the planks here and the sticks here take those around the side we should get trim so we got spruce trim so we need f basically two sets of that which is very useful let's make this framing table something I've never used before I think it's a new feature so there we got our framing table we basically put this framing table down somewhere let's find a nice spot to put it 
difficult. My place is a bit too full. Tell you what, let's put it down. For the sake of it, we'll put it down here for the time being. And then you, what you can do with this. Oh, that's a bit complicated, isn't it? <laughs> let's have a play. So I've got plenty of different woods, but we need some drawers. Now, have I got any storage drawers around? No, I haven't got any in there. I think I've got some chests in here. I'll take, we'll, we'll make them in four still. So I make some of these up. Uh, and it's the wood, so we need some wood. Let's get. I'm usually using birch, aren't I? So let's get some birch planks out of here. And let's make those into planks. Just sorted that. So we should be able to make some chests. So I think, if I'm not mistaken, it was a cross. It was a, the usual cross of these, and then put those into there, and then the chests go around the outside. If I'm not too mistaken, good. That gives me four of those. So then we can start to do this. Now I ain't exactly sure how this works because it's my first time. So I think we'd put that there. Oh no, can we put it anywhere else? Oh put this one in uh-huh then what happens here does it have any instructions on how to use the framing table the storage drawers let's have a look let's type it in here It's got the framing table. Does it have a manual? Because I'm not, I don't think I can't see a manual there, just lots of different drawers. I'll tell you what, I'll come back in a second, do a bit of research. I'll see you in a second. Well, that took some figuring out. I figured it out. So, you've got the drawers in here, you can put your drawers in there. Then you can put a, a block of something. It doesn't matter what you put. A block of gold. Expensive in this pack. I probably won't do it. Or you can put some wood. I can put wood down here. And the other thing you can put down is a frame drawer. And then you can get this this block. Now what happens if I click escape? So you can actually have a look at what it looks like when you've done it. So you get basically the sides and the faces are done with it, that black one, which is the block. So then you've got the trim, which is obviously this wood here, around the outside of it. And then you get the drawers in the inside. So, for example, if we wanted to, you only get this color drawers. There's nothing else you can do with that. You can different types, of course. You can have the frame trim, uh, two by two drawers, which is the ones I tend to use, which is this one. So you can make that one. Let's go make one of those and see how that turns out. It's actually night time, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's not that critical, is it? Now we need some sticks for those. Let's take about eight sticks just to be on the safe side <laughs> so that was this one wasn't it yeah so we can do a frame drawn i think it doesn't matter what wood we use it can just change it however we want it to be for example if i took that out of there and put in that you'd get the same thing so you get some frame drawers so we can see i'm not worried about mobs to be honest with you let's take that out of there and see what happens if we do that it doesn't seem to have any difference we still get the 4x4 so it is this one that's the one that's making the difference so now we could also take the block of gold out of here which probably w I wouldn't be using a block of gold for doing this and then we could put some dirt in it for example <laughs> and then it looks like that so that's how that works I'll tell you what I'll have a quick sleep and come back so you can do all sorts of things but they actually look, they look quite they look quite cool don't they <laughs> I suppose you can use different types of materials. Oh, we've got some planks. Would they do in there? Could we put planks in here, for example? We've got a, some oak planks in here. Let's remove these stuff. We don't need all we've got at the moment. Too much stuff. Can't cope. <coughs> My inventory management is just as awful as ever. So if we put that into here. Yeah, sure enough. So then it could actually look like an oak, oak plank. That's... It looks quite smart, doesn't it? You could do all sorts of things with this one. And you could change this for we could swap the maple wood over for this one, I guess. Yep. So you get the maple wood outside of it and that. So we got 
that suddenly expands the, your aesthetics quite a lot in this pack. So I think on that note, I'm going to say goodbye. I think I've done everything on my list. Let's have a quick check. Framing table. Oh, we haven't done the Bibliocraft stuff yet, have we? We haven't put it down and used it. We should do that before we go. It's quite straightforward. It's basically it's a way of making, replicating uh, enchantments. So tell you what, let's go and do that in this room over here. Because we've got space in it. I think still got some space in it. Yes, we have. So this is a way to replicate enchantments. So you've got a printing press here. We also need a reading glass, which I forgot about, but we'll do that maybe in a different episode. So that's the printing press, and where is the other one? The typesetting table. Did I not make the typesetting table? Mm, okay, so we need different things on here. But we shall go and typesetting plates, and we'll do those. Where did I, what did I do with the typesetting table? I'm sure I made one. Did I not make one? This thing? Oh, maybe I didn't make it actually. I don't think I got my redstone, did I? Let's make one anyway, just, just to be on the safe side. <laughs> They're not that expensive if I made, if I made one anyway, so there we are. So this is the typesetting table from Bibliocraft. I don't think I made it, did I? I'll have to watch my video back again. And this is the one used to copy books. So into this we have to put the press chases. In fact, like that. And then we put an enchanted book on here. And it should get copied across to there. And I've got enchanted books in here, for example. Um, one of them was reading. I don't want to reuse that one so much. The one I would like to do is respiration. Look at the seas, good for infinity is good. Oh, maybe I need to do infinity actually. I've got two powerful bows there, that's good. So touch efficiency, sweeping edge. But I think the one I want to do is quite tough. This one, eternal compass flame reading. It's actually got a lot of enchants on that one. And that's pretty awesome, that enchant book there. Uh, but I'm looking for the one with the Respiration, Aqua Infinity is good for allowing you to work in the water. I've got that twice. Oh, that's, oh there we go. So let's say I want to copy this book. I just put it down like that. And then it, it should tell me what I've got. I need for XP, and I've probably got enough XP. So I think I just shift, shift right click that here. Uh, I can't remember which way around to do this. The chase should come out in this side. Um, I think I need to get the reading glass or a monocle. So let's quickly go and make a monocle. I think we've got enough materials in here for a monocle anyway. So let's do that one. Now where is it? Is that hidden here? Nope. Oh, it's, it's, re it's probably, um, tell you what, ah, there we are, monocle, couldn't spell, piece of, a pane of glass, have I got no planes, panes of glass anywhere, that's strange, I'm sure I've got planes of glass somewhere, huh, it's one of those things I had too many of, uh, I can't find it. I'll tell you what. Oh, nice bit of lag. I'll come back in a second. Well, I've made some more paints of glass. I should be able to make the monocle now. Let's have a look. Monocle. Sorry, spell that right. There are other things we could use reading glasses as well. Let's take the monocle. It's just as it's just as good as any of the other ones. And then you can actually put this into your. Uh, maybe you can put it into your bubble shot. So I'm not. And you have to put it into your head slot <laughs> like that. So then we can actually see in the book on these things. I'm going to move that thing out of the way as well. It's in the way. We should be able to see on here. Select. Oh, you know, I haven't got any books. I need to put a book down. I 
think it should um, be selected for buses. Requires 55 levels, and I've got 51. Ha! Right, that's why it wasn't working. I thought it might be something like that. Tell you what, I shall quickly go back and get that and come back in a second. Well, I've got the 55 levels. Now I think I just shift right click this one. Shift right click it. Yes, there we go. So now we have our chase. And then you put your chase into here like that. And then that will allow us to copy that book three times and it'll break. So we need some more books. I'll do this next time. Uh, and, and then we can use those books and apply it onto things. So it's quite expensive to do in terms of XP, but XP's I don't really worry about that much, do I? The last thing I want to talk about was this. It did not freeze over the winter. Even because we're into spring now, or just about into spring. It didn't freeze at all anywhere, so it's been working all the time. So all you have to do is to cover it. And that probably applies to all water, including the water in my um, AFK fishing area. So that's it for this episode. I shall stand with my back to this one. I hope you've enjoyed it. The episode <laughs> also funny with the monocle on, don't I? So until next time, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.